Metal Casting Part 1 Metal Casting History of Casting Why Casting? Basic Casting Process Basic Terms Used in Casting Steps in Casting Process Introduction A process based on the property of liquid to take up the shape of the vessel containing it. A cavity of desired shape is made, contained in a mold. Carried out in a foundry. History of casting. Ancient process, started 5,000 years ago. Giovanna 50 tons cannon was built in 17th century in Jipper. Used for making arrows, coins, knives etc. World's largest cannon in Jipper, made by casting. Why casting? A job of 5 meters diameter and 10 meters length. A job with a hull of 2 meters diameter, made of very hard material. Parts of very complicated shapes. Have you seen any similar process before? What do we control? Size and shape of cavity and mold. Mixture composition. Temperature. Cooling time. Carefully remove it. Requirement for casting? Cavity of desired shape mold. Molten metal. Proper channel to fill the molten metal. Basic casting process. Basic terms used in casting. Pattern, replica of the desired part. Mold container with a cavity within. Divided in two halves, cope and drag. Gating system network of channels that deliver molten metal to the cavity. Basic steps in casting. Pattern making. Mold making. Melting of metal and pouring. Cooling and solidification of metal. Cleaning of casting and inspection. Pattern. Replica of the desired product. Has somehow different dimensions than the actual part to be manufactured. Used to form the mold cavity. Materials used. Types of patterns. Pattern allowances. Pattern materials. Requirements. Easily shaped, worked, machined and joined. Resistant to wear and corrosion. Resistant to chemical action. Dimensionally stable. Easily available and economical. Pattern materials. 1. Wood. Easy availability, low weight and low cost. Can be easily shaped. More than 90% castings use wood patterns. Absorbs moisture. So, distortions and dimensional changes occur. Relatively lower life, hence suitable for small quantity production. Pattern materials. 2. Metal. Used for large quantity production and for closer dimensional tolerances. Longer life. Aluminum is mostly used. Other metals, cast iron, brass etc. Pattern materials. 3. Plastic. Low weight, easier formability, smooth surfaces and durability. Do not absorb moisture. So, dimensionally stable. Corrosion resistance. Pattern materials. 4. Polystyrene. Changes to gaseous state on heating. Disposable patterns. Hence, suitable for single casting. When molten metal is poured into cavity, polystyrene transforms to gaseous state. Used mostly for small and complicated shape castings. Pattern types. 1. Single piece pattern. Used for simple shape and large castings. Pattern and cavity produced by it are completely in the lower flask. Causes difficulty in making the mold. Pattern types. 2. Split pattern. Split pattern models the part as two separate pieces that meet along the parting line of the mold. Two parts are aligned by dowel pin. Pattern types. 3. Loose piece pattern. As pre the name pattern contain one or more than one loose piece loose pieces used to make removal of pattern easy from mold box loose pieces are attached to main body with the help of dowel pins or wire first main pattern is drawn and then carefully loose pieces molding with this pattern is expensive and require more skill. Pattern types 4. Match plate pattern Similar to a split pattern, 
except that each half of the pattern is attached to opposite sides of a single plate. Match plate confirms the parting line. Ensures proper alignment of the mold cavities and the cope and drag and the runner system can be included on the match plate. Used for larger production quantities. Tick engines piston rings. Pattern types. 4. Cope drag pattern. It is similar to split pattern. Each half of the pattern is attached to a separate plate and the mold halves are made independently. Pattern is made in two halves and split along parting line. These two halves are known as cope and drag. They are molding done independently. After molding they are assembled to form complete mold box. Often desirable for larger castings. Pattern types. 5. Gated pattern. In this patterns of gate and riser or runner are permanently attached to regular pattern. They are used to manufacture multiple casting in on time. Each pattern is connected with common runner. Suitable for pouring small castings and for mass production. It saves labor and time. Pattern allowances. Shrinkage or contraction allowance. Draft or taper allowance. Machining or finish allowance. Distortion or camber allowance. Wrapping allowance. Pattern allowances. Shrinkage allowance. Liquid shrinkage. Solid shrinkage. Pattern allowances. Pattern allowances. Shrinkage allowance. Shrinkage means contraction of metal on solidification. All metals shrink after solidification. It is expressed in millimeters M. Shrinkage allowance differs from material to material. Positive type of allowance. Pattern allowances. Draft taper allowance. Taper provided by the pattern maker on all vertical surfaces of the pattern so that it can be removed from the sand without tearing away the sides of the sand mold. Inner details of the pattern require higher draft than outer surfaces. Commonly applied draft allowance is 1 to 3 degrees. Due to draft allowance pattern can easily removed from mold box. Pattern allowances. Draft taper allowance. The amount of draft depends upon the length of the vertical side of the pattern to be extracted. The intricacy of the pattern. The method of molding. Pattern material. Pattern allowances. Pattern allowances. Machining finishing allowance. The finish and accuracy in sand casting is generally poor. Extra material provided on the casting to enable their machining or finishing to the required size, accuracy and surface finish. So it is added in pattern dimensions. Allowance is provided only in machining area. Amount of machining allowance depends upon method of molding and casting used. Size and shape of casting. Casting orientation. Metal used in casting. Degree of accuracy and finish required. Pattern allowances. Pattern allowances. Distortion camber allowance. Due to their typical shapes, castings get distorted during solidification. Distortion is observed in irregular castings so that it shrink in uneven manner. Distortions are caused by internal stresses which are generated on account of unequal cooling of different sections of casting. To avoid this distortion allowance is provided. It varies from 2 to 20 millimeters. Pattern allowances. Wrapping shake allowance. Before the withdrawal from the sand mold, the pattern is wrapped all around the vertical faces to enlarge the mold cavity slightly, which facilitates its removal. When pattern is wrapped, Mold cavity is enlarged. To account for this increase, pattern size is reduced. This allowance is important in large sized castings and precision castings. Amount of wrapping allowance depends upon extent of wrapping, degree of compaction of sand, size of mold, sand type. Thank you.